Hi, let's have a look at this Microsoft Power Automate community thread. So here the question is how to get calendar event filtered by categories. So I asked a, a further few questions um, about this and found out that for each event there is only one category. But in this video I will show you how to filter per event one category and also per event multiple categories as well. Okay, so this is my calendar events. So I got one red category for dev and another test for the blue category. Okay, so let's start building the flow then. So here for the demonstration purpose, I'm going to use the manual uh, trigger. Then after that, I'm going to initialize a variable. Okay, let's call it as results. And um, I'm going to declare this as an array. Okay. Once that's done, then um, what I'm going to do here is I can, oh, okay, I probably don't need the initializer. I just ignore that. What I'm going to do here is first the calendar get events. Okay, so get calendar view of events version 3. That's what I'm going to use here. Okay. Then I'm going to choose my calendar. Then I need to specify a start date and an end start time and end time. So and that's the format we need to give it. So I'm going to put something like this. Okay, so here I, I am interested uh, from 8 o'clock till night, 11 o'clock. Okay, right. So what we could do here is the documentation generally says like the filter query, what you could do here is uh, you could apply a filter query something like this. So let me show you that. So that's what you could do here. Category slash any bracket. This is a specific syntax you need to give it. Yeah. And uh, remember I got a text category uh, as a blue one as the category for the test and the dev one is the red category and that's my event yeah right so let's save this flow and um, run this and see what's output we are going to get so i'm going to run this flow now all right so flow ran and um, you know we can see here the categories I got the blue category here but remember this is the green category as well yeah so I can filter by you know the blue category using this or data query so what I thought then is I want to get the red category also so what I could do next is I'm going to add and then change the blue to red and I'm hoping you know this should work so let's see what the result we are going to get here. Okay, so you can see like it's going to the right try mode. So eventually, you know, you'll get an error basically saying it's error basically. So if you go back here, you can say like it says bad gateway. And um, so that means, uh, you know, this method is not really working the and category here okay so there is a there are different ways you could do this so one way you could do here is um, the you could add another uh, you know get view of calendar and again get the categories for the red category and then combine the results into two then uh, but I'm not going to do that way what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it blank I know this is a start and the end time I want and uh, the next thing what I could do here then is um, I'm going to show you a technique like a filter one here. So let's add a filter here, filter array. Yeah. And um, under the filter array, because in after I, after I execute this, I will get 
all the events between these two date and times so under the from i'm going to map the value then i want to get the red category so for that what i could do is um, i could get the categories something like this because the categories it's an array actually in the json object here when it when we inspect it we, i'll show you in a minute that so i'm going to assume my first uh, you know if it's only if you if you going to have only one category per event then you can hard code the value something like this like expression with zero means the first index is equal to the red category okay so let me save this and also i'm going to do one thing i'm going to go to the test and um, remove the green category then here so somewhere here categorize green category that's gone now save that okay so i only got per event i only got one category this is a red category this is a blue category okay so that means i can hard code this value something like this category zero is the red category that's the first one and i'm going to test this and uh, let's see what we are going to get fantastic so we got oh that didn't work why let me see, let me see then i think this it's case sensitive so it's right c should be small that's the reason i'll show you that in a minute okay so that's the flow ran successfully and uh, if i look the whole results this is the get view of all the events between the date and time i specified you can see c categorize is a is an array and you can see also the category is a small case so make sure you know it's case sensitive when you compare it that's the way the flow works and again here it is a blue category okay but remember it's only it's per event it's one category only so this is a technique you can apply it here so that means i got the red category the next thing i can do is i'm going to utilize the platform one of the platform feature here copy to my clipboard the new step again go to my clipboard then again filter array add the second array and um, i can change this to blue category that's easy as it is so now if i run it now so what i should get here is i should get two results set now here it is so the first one look at the show row output you can see that's the right category and then the second one the second filter and looking the output here you can see that's a blue category here we go but how do we combine this remember both is an array actually here you can see uh, the result set is an array now see it's with square bracket square bracket under the body then yeah because it's an array the good news is i'm going to utilize a union here so i'm going to use a compose and uh, what I could do here is go into the expression and say union because it combines two um, uh, objects, two array objects into one basically. And um, so I'm going to say dynamic content, use the first array, comma, and then use the second array. So that's first array result and the second array result. That's I'm going to combine using the union. Click OK that. And um, then click test manually and run again. So under the final compose, if you look the output, so you can see that's the dev one and this is a test one. So I got both of them filtered and combined my results into one then. And, and the next thing, if I want to iterate it, all I want to do next is I can add a pass JSON next step, copy the schema and then iterate the values. I'm not going to show you that, but that's the way you filter this. Okay, now let's concentrate on to the multiple one so uh, let's think about for the test one i'm going to add another one more category which is a green category here so this got two categories blue and green so how do we filter it and remember we don't have no control over which array index this is going to come up so here that's a blue category first and then this is a green category second so let's save this yeah that's done now saved yeah now going back here 
and uh, let's assume the green category so i'm going to change this to green category but remember my filter array here it is going to be zero then yeah that's the first index so let's see what we are going to get So the second one, see, I haven't got anything because we assumed that the first index is going to be green category. But in theory, it is uh, this. This is a, uh, this array is the second one actually. So if I put one and update that, that should work now for the for the multiple categories for that event. Yeah, but that's not good news for us because we got no control over which index that is going to be in okay so this should work now here we go so that's i got now dev now see dev and also the test now sorry uh, the the test the test i got now see blue and the green category because the, this index is one that's when i specified that in the filter array so that's not the way we want so how do we how do we overcome this then so the way you need to do here is this is there is another way we could do here so let me go back here and change this to uh, this to zero then again and uh, make sure that is blue then okay that's that yeah oh that didn't change to update okay now so this section is for let me add a section called um, oh, i just leave that okay so th this is the final results for the single selections so for the multi ones what we could do is i'm going to add a filter array again i'm going to uh, you know get the values from the get calendar one so search for values value yeah here we go that's the one and then what i'm going to do here is i'm going to use um the remember that that is an array actually so the way i could do is i initially thought i could use something like this item question mark um, categories yeah contains um, a red category that's what i thought so um, let's run this and see what we are going to get so remember this technique is for per event multiple categories okay like uh, i put the green and the blue one for the test one so here see that that filtered it but you know that worked because let's see the show row output here so you can see that's only one and it says red category that's okay that it worked actually yeah but if i change this to blue category yeah so remember the syntax i used here i haven't specified any index here all i specified is item square bracket uh, you know categories that's a syntax you need to use here so i'm going to use the blue category here and save and test so what going to happen now is here we go that also worked actually fine actually yeah so that's okay that's blue category there what happens if i want to get the green category also so what i thought then is i'm going to extend this i did that advance to mode then copy this because it's difficult to type it here and uh, then open a notepad and then copy that here and uh, put and contains and copy this again the highlighted part comma and paste it and close the bracket then put here red category here we go and then we got green category also so i'm going to copy that again again here then comma then change this to green category then copy everything here this is the whole expression now so i'm going to say contains that 
item array contains blue or red or this yeah so i thought i could use that sorry i need to use that or actually or yeah so that's the syntax i'm going to use here then change highlight this press the back arrow to clear that and paste the whole uh, syntax here oh, i don't think i copied correctly let me copy it again control c that yeah so that's copied fine now okay let's have a look and see the result now here we go so flow ran successfully and see that whether we get everything or not so here we go that's the dev one with the red category i got and also with the test one i got the blue and the green category so this 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 is another way of doing it also so using the filter category you can you know directly specify uh, that uh, the condition which i just uh, uh, shown you now which is this using the or then contains categories blue category or uh, you know the red or the green but if you got you know you can apply this in in uh, you know uh, in the previous steps also like you don't need to go through it but i'm just showing there are different ways you could do it uh, so if you got a if you got one event with uh, just one category is that's your uh, standard then you could directly specify the index using item question mark categories with the index zero is equal to a category same for this also you know and um, then you can combine using the union so finally the union will union will give you both results together or you can completely ignore these these three steps and uh, use this uh, you know but this uh, this gives like this is not the equal to this is like contains i can't use the equal here for uh, you know if you want to use the equal then you need to use this but the only problem here is the category per event only one category it should be uh, you you can't have more than one categories that's the problem there you can't use equal then because you're targeting one event one category against that event so that you can hard code that index with zero there like you can see that that's the reason whereas here if we don't have more no control over multiple categories per event then uh, you know the syntax you can use is the contains with an or statement uh, you know or contains then you can say that's blue category and red or the green okay hope uh, this is useful thank you for watching